say we have an arbitrarily shaped surface here. Let's consider a line of atoms in this fashion. If this wants to reduce its surface area, what needs to be done is all the molecules at the interface here will try to come towards the bulk. Because what we found was minus Eb was less than minus Eb by 2. We have always seen situations where something at a higher energy level wants to go at a lower, lower energy level. So all the molecules at the interface will try to reach the bulk. Now, if you consider a line of atoms here, what the atoms here will do, let's forget about this half of the section. This line of atoms will experience a force in this direction. So as this surface reduces to a zero. Same thing will happen to the atoms here. For this part, they will experience a force in this direction. This way, the atoms will try to reduce the entire surface area of the surface. So basically, a tendency to reduce surface area is highly prominent. So these liquid molecules on the surface experience a force which makes them reduce the surface area of the interface we are talking about. And this force what we are talking about, say dF, is proportional to this length. Let's say this is dL. This length we are talking about is, let's say, dL. I would also like to state, if you are considering a length element like this, the force is essentially perpendicular to dL. So basically dF is perpendicular to dL. Because we have a proportionality, we can remove the proportionality sign by assigning a suitable constant to the relation. Say dL is equal to S times dL. This constant is a property of the interface we are talking about. The interface could be a liquid-liquid interface, a solid-liquid interface, or a solid solid interface. So this S is known as the surface tension. This is a property of an interface. This is also a force which is per unit length. When we are talking about surface tension, let me tell you different symbols which can denote surface tension. Surface tension is denoted by symbols like S, T, or sometimes alpha. Let me consider an arc of a circle. This arc is basically a part of the surface of a liquid, let's say. Considering another arc here, which is at a radial distance of dx from the inside arc. Let us 
just consider a small element of length dl. What the liquid will be tending to do or the tendency of the liquid will be to pull the surface inwards this way to reduce the surface area. If we can apply certain force or do some work on this surface so that the liquid cannot push it inside, we can prevent the tendency of the liquid to shrink its surface. So if the liquid is applying a force in this direction, the molecules at the surface are applying a force in this direction, that force will be S times TL, what we found out initially. And this must be equal to the force which is applied externally to balance off the effect of the surface tension. If you multiply both sides, say I bring F up here, if I multiply both sides with dx, what we get is this. This is basically the work done. Force times this displacement. So this say is dw. dl into dx, if we consider this to be almost a straight line and this also to be almost a straight line, dl into dx will be a small rectangular piece of sides dl and dx. So this becomes the area of that rectangle. So what we get, s is equal to dw by dA. So another definition for surface tension is surface tension is the work done per unit area of the liquid interface. This can also be stated as surface energy density. So the energy of the surface can be written as This can be written as the surface tension times the area of the surface. Let us consider a small example. 